YouTube, how are you now? Hey, it's uh, Big Tim. Just want to let you know it is uh, about 40 degrees outside, and people have been asking me, how's the Salus ball holding up? It's holding up well. Got to clean the cover here in a couple days, but uh, about 40 degrees outside. It is sitting at 102 at the moment, which is kind of where I have the preferred temperature set uh, for the evening. It is uh, fall, and the leaves are everywhere. <laughs> gonna move my mat for the uh, evening and uh, I'm gonna jump into the old hot tub and uh, just to kind of review people it has been um, I would say now about a month and a half since I've got this actually it might be a little longer than that um, sorry the leaves are everywhere <laughs> it's just been falling um, I got to tell you it's been a great experience uh, extremely happy with the hot tub I have no complaints um, I'm gonna open it up, give you all a view of it again. Um, some people have asked me, you know, hang on just a second here, magic YouTube. So like I said, people have been asking me, um, you know, variety of questions. Um, how's the hot tub been in the winter? And I don't have super ice cold temperatures yet, but I think 40 degrees is pretty dang chilly. Um, somebody asked me, how do you use your control panel here? Um, and they were having difficulty with it. So just kind of as a recap, you have to press and hold this lock button. And then that allows you to activate your features like your bubbles. Voila, Z bubbles. Um, actually not going to run those too much this evening. Um, some people have asked me about chemicals. And quite frankly, they're, they're super easy, I think. Um, I use these test strips all the time, so, and this is the brand I've got at the moment, and I actually just purchased these, haven't tried these out a whole lot yet, but, um, this is the brand I've been using the most. Um, anyway, it's been absolutely fantastic, you can kind of see the steam coming off of it. <laughs> Somebody said your water looks green. It's not green, folks. There's a green and blue at the bottom here of the tub, and it reflects off and makes it look like it's kind of green, so it's not. Anyway, um, I'm gonna do my chemical treatment here. So we're gonna do a little anti-film. And I just, I've got to the point where I don't measure anymore. Just drops them in. It comes to the anti-film stuff. Cause I'm gonna turn my bubbles on. Magic YouTube, hang on. We're gonna do one scoop full of my chlorine. And we're gonna Rinse that spoon off. There we go. Um, and I think I always like to drop a little pH decreaser. So we're going to drop some of that tonight too. About a half a spoon of that. And then I'll just show you how I test since some of you have asked, how do we test? So again, you take one of your little test strips swish it around in the water and that's about it right there and then you look at your test strip and you line it up with your colors come on camera focus <laughs> well the camera doesn't want to focus it wants to focus on everything else anyway I'll just uh, show you here you line it up with your uh, there you go And it just tells you whether you're in your safe zone or not. At the moment, I'm pretty safe. I'm going to add a little more chlorine, I think, maybe. It hasn't really mixed in yet, but um, so I'm going to give that a few minutes. But uh, long story short, it's been uh, super easy to maintain. And I think I will put the bubbles on just to kind of mix things up. And that's a good idea anytime you add your chemicals to uh, turn your bubbles on put the mix. Somebody asked me how long does it retain heat for? Uh, again, about, you know, 20 minutes of running these bubbles and I lose about two degrees of heat. Other than that, it's been great. YouTube, uh, follow me, like, and subscribe for more videos. Hope you enjoyed this short little video, just kind of updating you on where we're at as far as a uh, month and a half time frame. And uh, we will talk to you later. Have a good night.